Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a technique using masking tape and clear embossing powder. We're also going to explore the new colors of Tim Holtz Distress Markers, and we're going to perfectly place and space all of the layers on our card using Layer Creator. For this video, we are going to be using one inch plain masking tape, Zing embossing powder in clear, Memento Rich Cocoa ink, Tim Holtz Distress ink in frayed burlap with the ink tool, the new Distress markers in a couple of the new colors, along with just right shabby autumn leaves stamps, card creator dies, and we're also going to be using layer creator to space, place, and align our adhered layers to the card. So for the very first step in making this card, we want to take a piece of paper. Now this is just a piece of cardstock that is a chipboard color. And we're going to do this technique here. And you can see how pretty this is with the leaves from Just Right stamped on it. And what you're going to do is you are just going to take masking tape and you're just gonna rip it and you're going to place it onto this cardstock in different directions, covering the entire piece of the cardstock. Then once you get all of your entire piece of cardstock covered with your masking tape, you're going to take the die, and I am using Card Creator Basics Set A, die number two. Now you'll notice that all of my dies have pink lines in them. What I do so I know which one's set A and which one's set B is I actually mark set A with pink and set B with silver Sharpie markers. So when I go to put them back, I know which one goes to A and which one goes to B. So if you're wondering what the pink markings are, that's what it is. So then you're going to cut and emboss your die. And so I've already done this for time's sake. And so here is all of our masking tape cut and embossed. And now we're going to take the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Frayed Burlap, and we are going to just ink the edges of this. This also creates the background or the stickiness that we need for the Zing embossing powder. And then the next step is going to be using the rich cocoa pad and the shabby leaves, and we're going to stamp those. And then there's the outline of our leaves. I use a coffee filter when doing this, and you're just going to add the zing, and it will stick to the masking tape and to the ink. And that way when you want to put it back in, you just Fold the coffee filter and you're able to put it back in. Shake off the excess. And then I just use a plain piece of paper. And when it's all melted, it will give you that very unique background. And it, you can use different color inks on it, but I just wanted something that would blend well with the front of my card. So that's how you do the masking tape technique. And now we want to take another one of the leaf stamps that are, is in the shabby autumn leaf set. And we've stamped those randomly. I'm going to take my little thankful sentiment here and stamp this at the very bottom of my card front. And then you can take and ink the edges with the ink blending tool using the frayed burlap. And now we want to add some color. 
Tim Holtz just came out with 12 new Distress Marker colors, and I'm gonna be using these four right here. And one of the neat things about these is there's a lot of different ways that you can work with them, but one of my favorites is using their, his water brush. And this is the fine pointed one, which it's full of water and it disperses water evenly. And so I usually work right on my craft mat and I color directly onto that. And then I pick it up with my water brush. Then you can do your next color. Remember to store these markers on their side just like that so one end or the other of the nibs doesn't end up with too much ink or not enough ink. That was one of the, the things that I've learned in using these Tim Holtz markers is you definitely want to store them on their side. You can also mix these colors. Um, you can mix them on here or you can also mix them from touching tip to tip. So let me just show you really quick how you would do that. And what you would do is if you wanted to make a leaf with both of these colors, you would just touch the tip with your yellow to the orange and you're actually able to bring in some of that orange color. I don't know if you can see it from there. Which would give you the look of an, a real leaf because of course they change those colors. And then you just keep coloring onto your paper when you're done and the color goes right off the tip here. So you're just gonna scribble this and eventually the orange will go out and you won't have the orange on the tip any longer. So you don't, and you can't cross contaminate your distress marker. So that's one of the other ways to use them. And just play until you get it the way that you want. You can do a lot of shading and the different accents like that as well. So now we are ready to assemble our card. We are going to use Layer Creator. And what Layer Creator is, is it takes all the guesswork out of spacing and aligning and positioning and adhering the card layers to your card. Underneath is a lip that you put your card underneath to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our card front here and we're going to stick it directly underneath here until it catches into this lip underneath. And now we're going to adhere And how many times have you put down your card front and it's not perfectly square and you go to pull it up and it's already stuck down and you have to redo everything. So that's the benefit of Layer Creator. So now there are steps on top of Layer Creator and you simply choose the one that aligns or is the perfect placement for your layer, which happens to be the last step here. And we've put this against this little step here, and we just stick it down. And that gives us a perfectly spaced and aligned layer on the front of our card. Now I wanna add our burlap here. And what I've done is I've used score tape on the back of it. I'm just gonna peel off. I'm going to adhere that to the center here. And now I want to add our layer that we did earlier with the masking tape. I'm going to use the scrapbook adhesives foam. And again, I wanna place this perfectly into the center of my card. So that's where Layer Creator takes all the guesswork out of that. On Layer Creator, you will see that there's a line here and a line here. And what these two lines are is it's a one inch border spacing. So you will see me place this one inch on the edge here and the edge here of my innermost layer. Now I wanna take my piece that I did and stick it right inside here. 
And what that does is that gives me a perfect one inch border all the way around my center accent piece that I have here. So that's how we created our card. And Layer Creator has made adhering and spacing so much simpler. So happy creating, thanks for watching. All of the items that you found on this video can be found on stampingscrapping.com. Masking tape and clear embossing powder. What was that?